the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. And just telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible. Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. Thank you. It's good to be here. All right. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, you know, I thought that I would actually add a little bonus. I actually have five tips today around tips. getting your story remembered. But before we do that, I would kind of like to announce that I'm going to do a career change. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I, yeah. And, you know, I mean, First of the year is always, you know, it's a good time to to start something. You took new. revolution way too seriously, Mister. Well, you know, but so I am, and I am, I have the good uh, luck to be surrounded by people who have a lot of musical talent, and I've been kind of inspired by that. I mean, singers and people who play musical instruments and things like that. And so I've decided to become a professional singer. Now. There are people who believe that the fact that I do not have a lick of musical talent might be an obstacle to that, but I see it as key to my career change because what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to get a friend who can sing quite well to book singing appearances and people will pay to come see her sing. And then I will quietly lock the doors and then I will get up and start singing and I will promise to unlock the doors as soon as there's enough money on the table for me to stop singing. I got 20 bucks right business. now. And, yeah. I got 20 and fact, bucks right now. I was going to say, I actually am willing to debut my, no, 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 my no. thing here on your show because I can, okay. I can probably your purse. cut your show Hurry. in half, your audience in half. Just give them the credit card. So Here, take them all. Oh, jeez. But anyway, so I, actually we are in the middle of my first tip for my getting your story remembered, which is she's handing over plastic. That's yes, great. she is. I can have a fun time. <laughs> um, but is, is surprises. You know, we are hardwired to uh, pay attention when something surprises us. Now, that may be a movement in the parking lot when it's dark. Mm. It may be a story that starts down a path and then changes directions that we weren't expecting. A lot of humor, obviously. You had us completely captivated. I, I seriously thought you were, you were changing and So even as careers. much, even if it's not like, if we don't think we like surprises... We definitely pay attention to them. Oh, absolutely. And most of us like pleasant surprises, but we, we, I mean, it's a survival technique. We are absolutely wired to, to, um, to notice change and surprise. And what happens with a lot of times when people are telling their story, there is a template, for example, for news releases that a lot of people use that it, it starts off, you know, you name the company, comma, and you say the leading whatever business they're in, comma, today announced that, and then you finally get around to saying whatever you're going to say. And people think they're supposed to use that template. Well, you know what? It means that you're halfway through your opening sentence, which is where you're going to grab your audience, and you haven't written anything new at all. That is not the way to tell your story. And people get numb to it. Absolutely, they get numb yeah. to it. And um, then, then the people who are telling their story and using these kind of template ways to do it are not finding ways to grab our attention and surprise is a great way to do that. Wonder why nobody's listening. Do you find, Jerry, that uh, when people, you know, they go out to write a press release and they decide they, they want to do it on their own, and so uh, never having written a press release or not, not being well-versed in writing press releases, they go online and they find those templates and they sit there and say, oh, I must say, name of city, Absolutely. dateline, in, in, and things like that. In, Add quote here, bio right. Right. here, and this is, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cookie cutter never works. It Give a surprise and keep me captivated. Well, keep it fresh. Yeah. You know, absolutely. I like it. So the next tip, and one you've heard me say many times before, and I know you agree with it, is, you know, when you're telling your story, make it about me. No, about me. Yeah, yeah I think exactly. that's probably the hardest part for us to get into. Yeah, but you know, everybody's favorite subject, without exception, is me. Mm -hmm. Well, or, or me. Exactly. Yeah, well, and I'm honored that it's me, but... It, well, it could be Angel. It could be. Well, I think it's certainly Angel's favorite subject. Well, absolutely. I do want to know what's in it for me, but I get that any... Because anytime I'm going to read a story, if I'm online or looking at a magazine or anything... If, if I'm going to pay attention to it because it, I have a personal interest in it. And yet so often as a corporation, as a business, when we go to tell our story, we're not 
saying what's in it for our reader, right. we have a message to share. Jay, give us an example. Of you know, that. I came into journalism for 20 years, and I, what I, one of the things I learned while doing that is that news, and, and you can translate this to any storytelling because that's what they do, that news is about people and things that affect people. And that the biggest, or the more people who are affected by a story, the bigger the story. So if we have a big snowstorm tomorrow, it'll, it'll absolutely lead the six o'clock news tomorrow night. Um, and even and the biggest weather. story, yeah, because it affects everybody. And sure. you know, the biggest story of all, and it can be pretty mundane sometimes, but the biggest story of all is one that affects me. So if there's a big snowstorm tomorrow, it'll affect everybody. But you know what? If a tree falls in my yard, mm. that'll be something. Nobody that hears I'll know. it. But I'll hear it. You will hear I'll, it. I will notice yeah. it. You know, I, I, and a good example from when I was in the phone company, area codes, telephone area codes. That, you know, what could be more boring than an area code? Well, a few, some years ago, because literally we were running out of phone numbers because of cell phones and all these other things, we started adding area codes and changing area codes in areas. And I will tell you what, it could not have been a bigger story because it affected everybody. Do I get a new area code? If I'm on business, that means I might have to change my stationery and my signage and my uh, business card. And it is it long distance extension. across the street? Exactly. Yeah. And 10 yeah. digits and all things. So gotcha. The next one is to um, trigger my emotions. You know, things that are purely intellectual and, uh, you know, use logic. Um, is uh, it doesn't have the power that emotions do. Anytime you can bring emotional appeal into your story, just don't overdo it, you know, kind of like I did at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your story simple. The simpler, the better, because we're going to remember it better. And finally, um, make your story concrete. Some of us have st things, very concrete things to talk about already. If we sell a widget, we're going to talk about our widgets. But if, if your story is conceptual, if you can find a way to give us examples, examples are easier to understand and they're much easier to remember than concepts. You know, Jerry, I love your tips. When you talk about surprising me, make it about me, trigger my emotions, keep it simple and make it concrete. This is good news. We don't have Absolutely. to follow a template. And because, you know, I think that we're all kind of been sold this bag of goods that this is what, you know, the media is looking for, this, this script. And yet what your readers and who you're really after drawing attention from is the reader and making something that they'll remember. And because if they forget it as soon as they read it, what value is that to your company? Yeah. Reporters tell stories for a living, and the ones who do the best job of telling the most interesting stories are the ones who are the most successful. Well, Jerry, you are very interesting at telling stories. Yeah, I remember you your stories. Um, anytime you get up and talk and, and share a story, it's easy. it's easy for me to remember. Is there enough money on the table to get you to not sing? Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna sing us out. No, uh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, no, you know the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said that writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. He can also edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at JerryBrownPR.com. You can reach Jerry at Jerry at JerryBrownPR.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. Don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk after these messages. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit ExperiencePros.com.